Hello and welcome to episode 140 of WITM as we kick off this package and more importantly officially kick off our first ever Road to WrestleMania of WITM Season 3. And we got quite a match to kick things off. It's a Falls Count Anywhere match in the main event of SmackDown Live between the WWE Champion Corey and the Intercontinental Champion Cesaro. Also one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions is Cesaro. A champion versus champion match. But first, Corey's on his way to the ring. Microphone in hand. Let's hear what he has to say. speaks weeks ago I told the world that when it comes to myself and my former best friend Andrew I refuse to be considered secondary to him this WWE championship on my shoulder proves I am secondary to absolutely no one I am the present and the future of the WWE and a standard bearer the entire WWE is secondary to me And yet still, there are people in the back, current superstars, authority figures, even legends, that refuse to recognize that fact. They say I'm not a true champion because I had to beg to be g given the opportunity to become a champion and because I do not show respect to the rest of the locker room. They say a true champion is more like Andrew, and according to them, Andrew's NXT Tag Team Championship reign is more impressive than my reign with the WWE Championship. The only person who should be concerned with getting respect around here is me. As WWE Champion, I command your respect. I refuse to be secondary to no one. I will stop at nothing until everyone filling those seats and watching at home and in the back gets it. Captain Charisma Christian has made his return. He has microphone in hand. He's going to confront Corey. What does Captain Charisma Christian have to say? Corey, I want to come here and tell you. I get it. As everyone knows, for over two decades, I wrestled with 
and against my best friend and tag team partner, Edge. Together, Edge and I revolutionized tag team wrestling. We helped invent the tables, ladders, and chairs match. We won numerous tag team championships, but yet, throughout history, the admiration of the WWE Universe, the respect of those in the back, the title opportunities, the accolades, have almost solely gone to Edge. When I was finally allowed to become a champion, only as a feel-good moment that Edge begged for, as he was about to retire, it ended just two days later. Corey, you are exactly right. The WWE Championship should be the only validation that you need, but it seems that people around here just don't get it. So I have a proposal for you. I think what needs to happen is that I should wrestle one more match alongside you against the Double A Hardcore Cruisers, proving that you and I are secondary to no one. back awaiting 205 Live has made his way to the SmackDown ring to confront Corey. Let's hear what he has to say. Corey, you are correct in one thing you just said. That WWE Championship should be the only validation that you need for yourself. For months now, you've been desperate to prove that you are the best. That WWE Championship is a sign that you very well may be. I personally think as WWE Champion, you should put your everything into making sure that that title is successfully defended. But yet, instead, you still have this obsession with trying to beat me. And I think I understand why. It's because deep down, you think that what all the others have been saying is true. That compared to me and my accomplishments, you are just a second-rate superstar. Corey responds, second rate, second rate is the championship that you are carrying right now. First rate is the one that I carry. Christian, I accept your proposal. Whether it's my yard or yours, you go get your new puppet. And Christian, I will show you exactly who is second rate. Andrew responds, I think this is all a waste of time personally, but if that's what you want, then on behalf of Aries and myself, I accept. So it's official. At some point in the future, whether it's on SmackDown Live or on NXT, it will not take place at the Royal Rumble or at NXT, the next NXT TakeOver because the AA Hardcore Cruisers will be defending their tag team titles at NXT TakeOver London, and Corey would defend his WWE Championship at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view 
but either on a future episode of NXT or a future episode of SmackDown, we will see the next chapter of this rivalry between Corey and his former Purity Society brothers, Andrew and Austin Aries. It will be Double C, Corey and Christian, taking on the AA Hardcore Cruisers. Corey and Christian looking to prove to Andrew and Austin Aries and everyone involved with the WWE that they are not secondary to their former tag team partners. All right, but right now, Corey must turn his attention to the main event of SmackDown Live, where he will take on SmackDown's other singles champion, a man that has had his number, the Arcano champion Cesaro. And what a great way to start us off. Plant your butts in those seats and get ready. It'll be AJ Styles against three of WWE's toughest competitors. All right, so we'll jot down these results real quick and then get into our match. AJ Styles defeats Finn Balor, Big Show, and Sami Zayn. Charlotte defeats Alexa Bliss. SmackDown Women's Champion Eva Marie defeats Becky Lynch. Seth Rollins defeats Randy Orton and Kane. So he should will likely remain number one contender to Corey's WWE Championship. And Roman Reigns defeats Shinsuke Nakamura. And now it is time for our episode 140 match. Falls count anywhere hardcore action. The WWE Champion Corey in non-title action takes on a man who has had his number. The Intercontinental Champion Cesaro who defeated Corey in his very first ever match on SmackDown Live. And Corey's first match of Season 3 would defeat Corey in a six-man Armageddon Hell in a Cell that saw Cesaro become Intercontinental Champion and would defeat Corey one-on-one -on -one later on. But now that Corey's WWE Champion, will be, he be able to use his championship momentum and to finally be able to defeat Cesaro, or will he continue to have Corey's number? Let's find out in the Champion versus Champion match. WWE Champion Corey versus Intercontinental Champion Cesaro in the main event, Hardcore Falls Count Anywhere match. I'm getting just getting goosebumps anticipating this one. It's a Falls Count Anywhere match, and it happens next. It'll be Cesaro versus a formidable opponent. Oh, oh man, I can't wait to see these two go
right, so here we go. It's a hardcore match, champion versus champion. The two singles champions of SmackDown Live facing off. Just a couple minor changes. Couldn't really notice it, but Corey has a new Titan Tron with new clips of him wrestling from his match against Shinsuke Nakamura. Also is now his accurate height. Weight updated as well. Andrew also will have an updated accurate height and weight when he wrestles next. Taking too much punishment up to this point. Uh, this is going to be a tough test for the champ, Cole. Anyway, let's get into the action in the ring here. Corey. Take cover. You could call this a good leg sweep takedown. Yeah, that's exactly. And now looking to take advantage of the hardcore stipulation. As that nice ringside camera kicks in, Cesaro with an Irish rip into the steel steps. Corey is, I believe, the current number one contender or second contender here in Connell title. However, we'll likely not focus on pursuing a title shot for that as he is currently the WWE champion. The trophy, that's a different story. Reversal by Corey. Man, the ribs the Reverse neck breaker. All of the power out of Forces Cesaro to his feet. Uppercut by Cesaro. He looks a bit off his game here. And a suplex launches Corey into the, the corner. Where he thrives. And at this point, it looks to me like this match is Our shift by Cesaro. Reversal by Corey. The giant memorial Reversal by Cesaro. Since Mr. McMahon gave him an underwhelming review on the Stone Cold podcast. Reversal by Corey. Cesaro has been on an absolute tear. Cesaro hooks the arms, showing off that strength thing. Side slams. The near 300 power, now again showing off that power. Suplex by Cesaro. Slams the knee of Corey into the canvas. Cesaro's been dominant here on that outside. So far, once again, has the number of the now WWE Champion Corey. Corey has never defeated Cesaro. At least not here in season three. WWE Fastlane. The end may be near. And Cesaro with the European uppercut. It's false County where a match, so it goes for the cover. And the shoulders up now. And nearly makes quick work of the WWE champion. But Corey powers out at two and a half, and Cesaro's in disbelief. Corey finally is able to reverse. Cesaro has an interesting relationship with WWE fans. And now Corey may be looking for a weapon as an equalizer, but no. Goes back to Cesaro, and Cesaro gets back on the attack. Especially Corey with a reversal. Now Corey trying to show off some power. That's a reversal by Cesaro. Another suplex into that barricade. And now Cesaro likely thinking neutralizer. And here's Cesaro. He's got him in position. Last time Cesaro hit this move on Corey, it was to be, he retain the Intercontinental Championship. Will he get a non-title victory over the WWE Champion? Looks like he may have to me, but the referee says no. This match continues. Cesaro argues it, and the match will continue. Corey reverses. Stomp to the arm. He's delivering an Face buster. Kicking right here. It looks like we're gonna see what stomp to the back. Out here on the floor. We're gonna rearrange the face here. Mounted punches. Forces Cesaro to his feet. Cesaro reverses with an uppercut. Corey Irish whips it. Irish whips in Cesaro, crashing over the steel steps. Now a stomp to the back. Cesaro evades a second stomp. Misses with a punch. Connects with a kick. Goes for another punch. Corey reverses with one of his own. Cesaro catches the leg and takes Corey down. Forces Corey to his feet. Punch by Cesaro. Suplex into a cover. 
And another very near fall. Corey Powers out at two and a half. Stomp to the arm. Stomp to the leg. Reversal by Corey. Reversal by Cesaro. Cesaro with another suplex. Stomp to the arm. How will these guys do with absorbing the punishment they're about to receive? Out Stomp here. to the shoulder. Stomp to the chest. Now, wow. Corey rolls out of the way and evades. <laughs> Roundhouse and another sends Cesaro on the barricade. Leg sweep takedown. And Corey, as he does frequently since turning on the WWE Universe and his friends, taunts his opponent. And connects with the spear. Looks to me like he just goes for a cover. And another very near fall. Looks like it may have been a pinfall, but the referee says no, and this match continues. Corey with a knee drop busts open the Intercontinental Champion. Our whip into the ring post. as this guy. And it's Cesaro. Reversal by Cesaro. Stomp to the leg. He gets out of trouble there. Kick to the stomach. When this gets Cesaro look out. catches the leg, but Corey's able to shove it off and reverse. STO takedown. Stomp to the knee. Now Corey finally in control of this match. What a deadly submission hold this is. We might see a tap. Hammer and chin lock. Oh, man, does that look painful? This is serious gut check. Whoa! And Cesaro breaks the grip and the hold. This is an undying will to succeed. Stomp to the back. Corey rolls to get back to his feet and big clothesline by Corey. Reversal. Cesaro. Reversal by Cesaro. This might not end. And European uppercut. This could be it right here. And you could say his opponent's in real bad shape. Stomp to the arm. Yet. He's just and another offense here. Yeah, that's when he's the most dangerous. The finality of this environment is so apparent, King. I don't know about Corey reverses. Is so, so dangerous. Cesaro catches the leg and takes Corey down. I guess I'm trying to set up for a second neutralizer. And here's Cesaro. He's got him in position. He's looking for the catch neutralizer. And that connects. Goes for cover. It could be over here. Yeah, maybe. Two. Oh, and the kick out comes just in the nick of But Corey powers out. What's keeping this competitor going? It's Cesaro's in disbelief. It's not very often that someone powers out of two neutralizers, but Corey has managed to do so. Elbow drop to the leg. Anything can happen. Reversal by Corey. Over the years, I've seen more careers come to an abrupt end outside of the ring than I can remember. This area is. Corey targets the bloodied head of Cesaro. And now for the first time in this match, looking to bring weapons into play. He grabs the chair, attacks the leg of Cesaro. Cesaro avoids another shot and another. And throws the chair against the head of Corey and busts him open. Both men now bleeding. And a third European uppercut. Forces Corey to his feet. Corey reverses. He cannot allow Cesaro to hit a third neutralizer. Mounted punches to the blade head of Cesaro. The blood now just really pouring all over the face of Cesaro. Definitely gonna need some stitches. Following this match, both men likely will. And a knee to the bloody head of Corey by Cesaro. Looking again for that neutralizer as the blood now pouring all over the face of Corey. And here's Cesaro. He's got him in position. He's looking for the catch neutralizer. And he will hit that third neutralizer. Goes for cover. For the win. Two. And Cesaro picks up a non-title victory. Still has Corey's number. Corey can just not figure out a way to beat Cesaro. 
and Cesaro is going to get the non-title victory. So Corey's struggles against the Intercontinental Champion Cesaro continue. Not exactly been dominant so far as the WWE Champion. Oh, one for two with losses to Seth Rollins and Cesaro. And a win over Shinsuke Nakamura. So Corey struggling to gain momentum as champion. How that factor into his first title defense at the Royal Rumble, which is still quite some time away, about three weeks and a half. But definitely don't want to make a trend out of losing leading up to a title defense. All right, and it looks like Andrew will be in action. On this edition of NXT, looks like a tag team match as we see Austin Aries pictured as well. We have a promo from Tyler Bate. Jack Gallagher takes on Trent Seven. Carmella takes on Summer Rae. Alicia Fox takes on Anna. Peyton Royce takes on Naomi. The Bollywood Boys take on Sanity. Nikki Cross takes on Ember Moon. And in the main event is going to be. The AA Hardcore Cruisers taking on Hashtag DIY, and as usual, that is an elimination tag match. So, the AA Hardcore Cruisers are a few weeks away from their tag title defense at NXT TakeOver London. Take on Hashtag DIY. How will they fare? We find out in episode 141. Until then, this is Corey, signing off.